Both of these guys are extreme characters. I hope you guys are ready for this jelly. Oh my gosh! <laughs> It's time for me to make Ink Master look good again. Oh my God, and it seems like you came from the 90s. <laughs> it's either a fashion contest or a tattoo contest. No, we were both gone too soon, and like, they needed us in that house. Who else was gonna be funny and wear a cute outfit? If their tattoos are anything like they dress, I'm, I'm into it. The first time I saw Ova, I knew instantly that we were gonna be best friends. Somebody gonna get their ass flipped tonight. Tiara is hilarious. She's probably my favorite person in the competition. At the beginning of the competition, I was ranked one of the top artists, and I got to choose Team Clean. So you guys would both be gunning for this I'd be, yeah, absolutely. 100%, I, I want this person on yeah. my team. Suck it, guys. And um, then it all kind of went downhill. I love trees, and I love snakes. The last challenge, when I got kicked off, the, the canvas wanted to get a tree of life. I talked her into getting something a little bit, you know, a little bit weird, a little bit different. We were going to do a tree of life made out of snakes. Excited for me to win tattoo of the day with this? <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited. She couldn't sit well from the start. I tried to make her comfortable, had her sit down, stand up, got her some drinks, um, clean came over, tried to give her a little pep talk, and then, you know, I didn't complete the challenge. Tiara. It was supposed to be a lot bigger, but. Because the tree of life is big. Usually, a, a, yeah, it's but I had to get rid of some yeah. of it. My canvas just couldn't get comfortable. I didn't think Tiara's tree of life tree was that bad. I didn't think it looked like a tree, but. I still, I definitely knew those were snakes. The judges have decided, Tiara, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. To be honest, I really wasn't upset about getting eliminated. I completely 100% owned that I did not complete the competition. I wasn't gonna put that on anybody else. I don't think anybody else deserved to go home more than me. I fell on that sword. Tiara is probably a little pissed, but Oba went home the following week. I've always had really bad blood pressure. I guess the pressure of the competition have been making my heart work extra hard. My medicine hasn't been controlling it, so the doctor is making me leave because at any point he feel like I could have a heart attack. So oh. I tried to stick it out as long as I could because like, I didn't want to be like, oh, I'm too feeble to tattoo, but like, I was really, really tired. Like, it was taking a lot out of me, like, I guess, how much my heart was beating was making the rest of me so tired. Like, I didn't sleep for four days before our last challenge. And I was just having a really hard time sleeping and getting rest and like being clear of mind. Oba's gonna come out swinging for the fences because this is his second shot. It was definitely hard for me leaving. I didn't feel like I got to show my true talent in the competition because I wasn't there long enough for us to, for me to really like speak my voice, if that makes sense. Um, but then also knowing that I have a family at home to take care of, I couldn't just be here and not be healthy. Because at the end of the day, I could win this competition, but I also I could have left my family. So I felt like it was hard, but it was something that had to be done. I don't have a grudge with Oba, but I have a grudge with myself. I feel like I let myself down. I feel like under different circumstances, I could have made it further, and I have something more to prove to myself than other people. Are you ready for me to put your tattoo in a box? <gasps> and bury it. You can't even spell box. I can't spell box, but I can still draw one. You're going down.